Avalokitesvara or Padmapani Sanskrit, Avalokitesvara is a bodhisattva who embodies the compassion of all Buddhas. This bodhisattva is variably depicted, described and portrayed in different cultures as either male or female. In Tibet, he is known as Chenrezig, and in Cambodia as in Chinese Buddhism, Avalokitesvara has evolved into the somewhat different female figure Guanyin. In Japan this figure is known as Kanzian or Kanon. Etymology The name Avalokitesvara combines the verbal prefix ava, down, lokita, a past participle of the verb lok to notice, behold, observe, here used in an active sense, and finally isvara, lord, ruler, sovereign, or master. In accordance with Sandhi Sanskrit rules of sound combination, a plus isvara becomes esvara. Combined, the parts mean, lord who gazes down at the world. The word loka, world, is absent from the name, but the phrase is implied. It does appear in the Cambodian form of the name, Loksvarik. The earliest translation of the name into Chinese by authors such as Xuanzang was as Guanzizai Chinese, Guanzi Zai not the form used in East Asian Buddhism today, Guanyin Chinese. Guanyin. It was initially thought that this was due to a lack of fluency, as Guanzizai indicates the original Sanskrit form was Avalokitesvara, who looks down upon sound i.e., the cries of sentient beings who need help. It is now understood that was the original form, and is also the origin of Guanyin, perceiving sound, cries. This translation was favored by the tendency of some Chinese translators, notably Kumarajiva, to use the variant Guanxi Yin Guanxian, who perceives the world's lamentations, wherein Lok was read as simultaneously meaning both to look and world. Sanskrit loka, Chinese, shi pinyin, shi. The original form Avalokitesvara appears in Sanskrit fragments of the 5th century. This earlier Sanskrit name was supplanted by the form containing the ending isvara, lord. But Avalokitesvara does not occur in Sanskrit before the 7th century. The original meaning of the name fits the Buddhist understanding of the role of a bodhisattva. The reinterpretation presenting him as an Isvara shows a strong influence of Hinduism, as the term Isvara was usually connected to the Hindu notion of Vishnu in Vaishnavism or Shiva in Shaivism as the supreme lord, creator and ruler of the world. Some attributes of such a god were transmitted to the Bodhisattva, but the mainstream of those who venerated Avalokitesvara upheld the Buddhist rejection of the doctrine of any creator god. In Sanskrit, Avalokitesvara is also referred to as Padmapani, holder of the lotus, or Loksvara, lord of the world. In Tibetan, Avalokitesvara is Chenrezig, Tibetan, and is said to emanate as the Dalai Lama, the Karmapa, and other high lamas. An etymology of the Tibetan name Chenrezig is Spion, I, Ras, continuity, and Jizig, to look. This gives the meaning of one who always looks upon all beings with the eye of compassion. Topic Origin. Topic Mahayana account. According to the Karandavuha Sutra, the sun and moon are said to be born from Avalokitesvara's eyes, Shiva from his brow, Brahma from his shoulders, Narayana from his heart, Sarasvati from his teeth, the winds from his mouth, the earth from his feet, and the sky from his stomach. In this text and others, such as the longer Sukhavetavuha Sutra, Avalokitesvara is an attendant of Amitabha. Some texts which mention Avalokitesvara include the Lotus Sutra is generally accepted to be the earliest literature teaching about the doctrines of Avalokitesvara. These are found in the Lotus Sutra Chapter 25 Chinese. Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa Pu Men This chapter is devoted to Avalokitesvara, describing him as a compassionate bodhisattva who hears the cries of sentient beings, and who works tirelessly to help those who call upon his name. 
A total of 33 different manifestations of Avalokitesvara are described, including female manifestations, all to suit the minds of various beings. The chapter consists of both a prose and a verse section. This earliest source often circulates separately as its own sutra, called the Avalokitesvara Sutra Chinese, Guanxi Yin Jing Pinyin, Guanxi Yin Jing, and is commonly recited or chanted at Buddhist temples in East Asia. When the Chinese monk Faxian traveled to Mathura in India around 400 CE, he wrote about monks presenting offerings to Avalokitesvara. When Xuanzang traveled to India in the 7th century, he provided eyewitness accounts of Avalokitesvara statues being venerated by devotees from all walks of life, kings, to monks, to laypeople. In Chinese Buddhism and East Asia, Tangmi practices for the 18-armed form of Avalokitesvara called Kundi are very popular. These practices have their basis in the early Indian Vajrayana, her origins lie with a Yakshini cult in Bengal and Orissa, and her name in Sanskrit, "...connotes a prostitute or other woman of low caste but specifically denotes a prominent local ogress whose divinized form becomes the subject of an important Buddhist cult starting in the 8th century." The popularity of Kundi is attested by the three extant translations of the Kundi Dharani Sutra from Sanskrit to Chinese, made from the end of the 7th century to the beginning of the 8th century. In late imperial China, these early esoteric traditions still thrived in Buddhist communities. Robert Gimello has also observed that in these communities, the esoteric practices of Kundi were extremely popular among both the populace and the elite. In the Tiantai school, six forms of Avalokitesvara are defined. Each of the Bodhisattva's six qualities are said to break the hindrances respectively of the six realms of existence hell beings, pretas, animals, humans, asuras, and devas. Theravada account Veneration of Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva has continued to the present day in Sri Lanka. In times past both Tantrayana and Mahayana have been found in some of the Theravada countries, but today the Buddhism of Ceylon, Burma, Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia is almost exclusively Theravada, based on the Pali Canon. The only Mahayana deity that has entered the worship of ordinary Buddhists in Theravada countries is Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara. In Ceylon he is known as Natha Deva and mistaken by the majority for the Buddha yet to come, Bodhisattva Maitreya. The figure of Avalokitesvara usually is found in the shrine room near the Buddha image. In more recent times, some Western-educated Theravadans have attempted to identify Natha with Maitreya Bodhisattva, however, traditions and basic iconography including an image of Amitabha Buddha on the front of the crown identify Natha as Avalokitesvara. Andrew Skilton writes, It is clear from sculptural evidence alone that the Mahayana was fairly widespread throughout Sri Lanka, although the modern account of the history of Buddhism on the island presents an unbroken and pure lineage of Theravada, one can only assume that similar trends were transmitted to other parts of Southeast Asia with Sri Lankan ordination lineages. Relics of an extensive cult of Avalokitesvara can be seen in the present day figure of Natha. Avalokitesvara is popularly worshipped in Myanmar, where he is called Lokanat or Lokabayahanat, and Thailand, where he is called Loksvara. The Bodhisattva goes by many other names. In Indochina and Thailand, he is Loksvara, the Lord of the World. In Tibet he is Chenrezig, also spelled Spyan Ras Zigs, with a pitying look. In China, the Bodhisattva takes a female form and is called Guanyin, also spelled Quanyin, Quan Yin, Kuan Yin, or K W U N Yum, hearing the sounds of the world. In Japan, Guanyin is Kanan or Kanzian. In Korea, Guan E U M. In Vietnam, Quan Am. Topic: <laughs> Modern scholarship. Avalokitesvara is worshipped as Natha in Sri Lanka. Tamil Buddhist tradition developed in Chola literature, such as in Buddhamitra's Virasolium, states that the Vedic sage Agastya learnt Tamil from Avalokitesvara. 
the earlier Chinese traveller Xuanzang recorded a temple dedicated to Avalokitesvara in the South Indian Mount Potalaka, a Sanskritation of Pothagai, where Tamil Hindu tradition places Agastya having learnt the Tamil language from Shiva. Avalokitesvara worship gained popularity with the growth of the Abhayagiri Vihara's Tamrapani and Mahayana sect. Western scholars have not reached a consensus on the origin of the reverence for Avalokitesvara. Some have suggested that Avalokitesvara, along with many other supernatural beings in Buddhism, was a borrowing or absorption by Mahayana Buddhism of one or more deities from Hinduism, in particular Shiva or Vishnu. This seems to be based on the name Avalokitesvara. On the basis of study of Buddhist scriptures, ancient Tamil literary sources, as well as field survey, the Japanese scholar Shu Hikasaka proposes the hypothesis that the ancient Mount Potalaka, the residence of Avalokitesvara described in the Gandavuha Sutra and Xuanzang's Great Tang records on the western regions, is the real mountain Pothagai in Ambasamudram, Tirunelveli, Tamil Nadu. Shu also says that Mount Potalaka has been a sacred place for the people of South India from time immemorial. It is the traditional residence of Siddha Agastya, at Agastya Mala. With the spread of Buddhism in the region beginning at the time of the great king Asoka in the 3rd century BCE, it became a holy place also for Buddhists, who gradually became dominant as a number of their hermits settled there. The local people, though, mainly remained followers of the Hindu religion. The mixed Hindu Buddhist cult culminated in the formation of the figure of Avalokitesvara. The name Loksvara should not be confused with that of Loksvararaja, the Buddha under whom Dharmakara became a monk and made 48 vows before becoming Amitabha. <laughs> Mantras and Dharanis Mahayana Buddhism relates Avalokitesvara to the six-syllable mantra Om Mani Padme Hum. In Tibetan Buddhism, due to his association with this mantra, one form of Avalokitesvara is called Sadaksari, Lord of the Six Syllables. In Sanskrit, recitation of this mantra while using prayer beads is the most popular religious practice in Tibetan Buddhism. The connection between this famous mantra and Avalokitesvara is documented for the first time in the Karandavuasutra. This text is dated to around the late 4th century CE to the early 5th century CE. In this sutra, a bodhisattva is told by the Buddha that recitation of this mantra while focusing on the sound can lead to the attainment of 800 samadhis. The Karandavuha Sutra also features the first appearance of the Dharani of Kundi, which occurs at the end of the sutra text. After the Bodhisattva finally attains samadhi with the mantra, Om Manapadmi Hum, he is able to observe 77 kotis of fully enlightened Buddhas replying to him in one voice with the Kundi Dharani, Nama Saptanam Samyaksambuddha Katinam Tadyatha, Om Kale Kul Kund Svaha. In Shingon Buddhism, the mantra for Avalokitesvara is Onururi Kya Soa Ka. Japanese. Onururikya Sawaka. The Nilakantha Dharani is an 82 syllable Dharani for Avalokitesvara. Topic. Thousand armed Avalokitesvara One prominent Buddhist story tells of Avalokitesvara vowing never to rest until he had freed all sentient beings from samsara. Despite strenuous effort, he realizes that many unhappy beings were yet to be saved. After struggling to comprehend the needs of so many, his head splits into eleven pieces. Amitabha, seeing his plight, gives him eleven heads with which to hear the cries of the suffering. Upon hearing these cries and comprehending them, Avalokitesvara tries to reach out to all those who needed aid, but found that his two arms shattered into pieces. Once more, Amitabha comes to his aid and invests him with a thousand arms with which to aid the suffering multitudes. The Bowen Temple, located in northwestern Sichuan, has an outstanding wooden image of the thousand armed Avalokitesvara, an example of Ming Dynasty decorative sculpture. <laughs> Tibetan Buddhist beliefs Avalokitesvara is an important deity in Tibetan Buddhism. 
He is regarded in the Vajrayana teachings as a Buddha. In Tibetan Buddhism, Tara came into existence from a single tear shed by Avalokitesvara. When the tear fell to the ground, it created a lake, and a lotus opening in the lake revealed Tara. In another version of this story, Tara emerges from the heart of Avalokitesvara. In either version, it is Avalokitesvara's outpouring of compassion which manifests Tara as a being. Topic: Manifestations. Avalokitesvara has an extraordinarily large number of manifestations in different forms, including wisdom goddesses, vidyas, directly associated with him in images and texts. Some of the more commonly mentioned forms include Topic Gallery Topic See also Guanyin Ishvara Pure Land Buddhism Ushnashasatatapatra Vishnu Dalai Lama equals equals notes <laughs>